Layla is so laid back. He's such an easygoing little boy. Just so easygoing. I see there's a few new people, and I always try to keep everyone up to date. I know it's in other videos, but a lot of people don't know where to find them or like exactly that information. So I'll just do a little rundown as I try to every year. Uh, first off, these are all orphans. They aren't pets. Unfortunately, they've, you know, all their mothers have passed away or by some, you know, chance they've fallen off their mothers and, and uh, their mothers were unable to retrieve them. So then they become, they come in our care uh, we care for them till they're about uh, 12, 13 weeks old. Then they go to crèche. That then they're with other baby bats and some rehab bats, bats, and they learn how to become a bat. And also, people don't like the word, but this is how we always say it: is dehumanized. And that's basically just ignoring them, uh, going in, feeding them, but not showing them any attention. And there's only one person who usually goes in so that they're not around people that much. They, they aren't um, imprinted like birds and that are. So they adapt very quickly back to the wild, which is great because that's what we want. And uh, a lot of people don't know or think it's cute that we have uh, the pacifiers in their mouths. That is for a purpose. It's... On the baby, on the mother, the baby would be sucking on the mother's teat all the time. So as a way of hanging on also uh, with those big feet and hanging on to the teat, they, they clamps, clamp onto the mother's body. That's why we give them stuffed toys or mama rolls to hang on to because it reminds the mother mother's body. And it doesn't have to be a little small toy. It's good if it's a... I like big fluffy toys because I think it would remind them more of their mothers. So that's why. And then we wrap them for two reasons. One, to keep them warm because for the first few weeks they can't um, regulate their body temperatures. So we have to keep them warm. And that's why they're in incubators is to keep them at a certain temperature all the time. Depending how old they are, the temperature does vary. So if they're like a pre premature baby, which Mothra was, they, they're they about 32, 33. And a uh, normal sized baby, when they come in, it's usually about 20, 29. So just having it at the temperature to make sure that they don't get cold because they do get cold very quickly. And if a baby bat is cold to the touch, <clears throat> you never feed it because then it will it will die. So that's why, you know, when people find bats and that, and the first thing, it's our instinct. I think it's a, it's a motherly instinct in people that you want to feed them. But if they're cold, that's the worst thing you could do. So a lot of times when I get people you know, going, oh, I found a baby bat, which I feed it. That's the first thing they want to do. And when we get them into care, we don't feed them first. We always make sure they're hydrated. So we'll give them water feeds, even a couple of water feeds, before we actually give them any milk. And we all carers give them certain different types of milk. Some have um, formulas, which that's what I use. I use a, a Wambaru formula. I've had nothing but good luck with it, so that's what I like. Some people like goat's milk. Some people even use cow's milk. Some use baby formula. What works for you, that's that's the way I see it. I don't think that what I use is any bigger, better than what someone else uses. I think it just what makes you know your babies grow. And I think also, too, when you use something for a while... You know, you have such a knowledge of it that I think that's what makes it work for you also. So uh, what do their wings feel like? 
They feel they're not leathery. Everyone always thinks, oh, they're like little leather jackets. No, they're they're very soft. They're they're very soft, like your eyelid. So if you touch your eyelid, that's what their wings feel like, and their ears. And their fur is very soft, like a bunny or a cat. So they they're very delicate, sweet. You know, they're just absolutely beautiful, beautiful animals to work with. They're loving, they're smart. It's the, the best thing I've ever done. I, every year I go, wow, I can't believe I'm doing this. Every baby I go, I don't know if I could love this baby as much as I love the baby before, the baby before that. And I end up loving them just as much. So the, as long as I'm always feeling that way, I will always do it. If it ever became like a production thing, I, I would want to do it. Because I think if they come in and they really need us, they need that love too to help them thrive. So give them everything. And also too, I always feel we don't know how long well, nothing knows how long they have. So give them the best little babyhood they could have. Spoil them rotten. And I do. I spoil my babies rotten. And that's why I get these little demanding little, you know, I want my way. And which is good because when uh, they're out in the wild, you don't want a wussy. So I don't want to talk too much, but um, if you're new, that's kind of like a little update on different things. If you have any questions, please feel free. I never know what to to show you or talk talk about. So if there's a something you want to know about them, something you want to see, please, please let me know just in the comment area. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.